Yo, so I got a request to make a video on how to add different states to the first person mode and I actually thought of something super easy and we'll get this added to an update. As you can see here, when I go into normal speed, we're triggering the run footsteps and when we crouch, we're triggering the crouch footsteps. I'll turn on the debugger here and you can see visual confirmation of it as well. I'm going to assume you've already installed everything. If you haven't, check out my video linked um, everywhere. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is go to first person arms and open up the animation blueprint, open up the state machine and open up the run node. As you can see, we have the run animation. Now this works for one running animation and we want this to switch dynamically. So instead of making a whole mess of states, let's change this run animation to a variable that could switch on the fly. Click on run and bind to current montage. Right click, promote to variable and name it movie animation. Set the run animation to the default value. Copy this variable and open up the FS component and paste it. And make sure that the run animation is in the default value as well. Then open the first person character blueprint, add a custom event for left control, get is crouched, connect it to a branch, out of true, search and plug in uncrouch. For false, put crouch. Then click on the character movement and set can crouch to true. Then get the FS component and set moving animation for both crouching and walking. Go to your run animation, duplicate it, and rename it to crouch. Let's add the AN footstep notify twice, and we're gonna plug each one in the respective slot. Now, go back to your AnimBP event graph, get pawn owner, get component by class, FS component is valid, get the moving animation variable, plug that into the moving animation, go back to your character blueprint, and turn on the debugger and move around. Now you'll hear, see, and visually confirm that your run animation play has been running and crouch animation when crouching and moving. And that's it. From here, if you wanna do crawling or anything else, you gotta do the same steps where you would change the animation based on the state you're in. If y'all got questions, Feel free to reach out. I'll throw this in on the next update. Bye.